Well, we're joined now by Dr. David C. Flieger, a surgeon in Austin and former president of the Texas Medical Association. Doctor, it's good to have you with us. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. Thank you for having me. Well, the Texas Medical Association released a chart showing how risky everyday activities can be when it comes to catching COVID-19. How did the TMA actually come up with this kind of chart? Well, the chart was brought together by a task force that we put together that include epidemiologists, uh, infectious disease experts, public health experts, and they've been helping us throughout the pandemic with multiple issues that have come up uh, that we've had to face. And these were uh, common activities that the average person is going to do, and we wanted to sort of give an idea to the public what the relative risk is for, for our activities we go through in our daily lives. Well, I know the chart shows even with social distancing, something as ordinary as, say, going to a movie theater is extremely high risk compared to using a gas pump that hundreds of people use. That's deemed low risk. So how does it really differ from the other? Well, one of the things you need to remember is that as part of this, we are assuming that people are doing the normal precautions that we've asked for. So you're wearing a mask you're socially distancing, you're washing your hands frequently, uh, cleaning surfaces. So after you pump your gas, you should have some, uh, uh, an alcoholic uh, cleaning substance in the car that you can use to clean your hands. And uh, you should wear your mask when you're doing your gas. The, the, if you'll look at the chart, I think the main thing you'll see is the more people around, the bigger the crowds, the higher the risk. And that's just uh, seems common sense, but not everyone seems to be abiding by that common sense. So we're, we're trying to put it out there and let people know, take out at a restaurant, fine. Outdoors at a restaurant, okay. You know, crowded restaurant with lots of people, not all of them wearing their masks, you, you're, gonna, you're, gonna, you're at risk, need, need to be aware. Well, doctor, let's talk about personal protective, protective equipment or PPE. It was announced today that there's a shortage of PPE for medical workers across the country. And a new survey even shows some nurses are being asked to reuse theirs. So what are some of the dangers behind this shortage, not just for patients, but also for healthcare workers? Well, obviously, if we don't have the right equipment, we're more likely to come in contact with the virus and the healthcare workers themselves are more likely to get infected and, and uh, healthcare workers are at higher risk, obviously. Now, the, the PPE situation is better than it was when we started this three, four months ago. We, the, the state and uh, the regional advisory committees have gotten together with the county medical societies throughout the state and have helped to provide a significant amount of PPE to our doctors. So we're, we're thankful for that, but especially rural doctors, especially smaller practices, still having a hard time getting uh, the, all of the PPE that they need. And that puts them and their employees and their patients at risk. All right, Dr. Flieger, we're out of time, but thank you very much for joining us tonight on KV News at 6. We appreciate right. it. Stay well.